In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your Canva text to appear one by one. And not only that, I'm going to show you how you can get specific lines to appear and show one by one as well. This is going to be great for a presentation format. So let me show you exactly what you need to do in this quick and simple tutorial video. So you can see in this presentation, I had each line of text appearing one by one. And I'm going to show you how you can do all of that. So go to canva.com and type in presentation. Now for this to work, you're going to need to create a presentation. You can use a template, but I'm just going to create from blank here. So we're going to click create blank and I'll just use the text that I used in the intro, but obviously you'll have your own text. So I'm going to copy all of this text here and put this on a new template. Now, once you've got your text on screen here, obviously you want to animate it and get the text to appear one by one. Now, the best way that you can do this is by clicking on the text, then you can go to the three dots in the top right hand corner. Then if you go to animate, that should then show you all of the animations that you can use. Now, the best animation that I've found for getting text to appear one by one are going to be these three here. So you've got typewriter, ascend or shift. And if you hover over these, it will show you a preview of each one. Now, I like the typewriter effect, but you can go with any of these really. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to use the typewriter effect for this video. Now, if you click on it, you can choose your animation style, right? So do you want this to be animated on entry, on exit or both? Now, if you're following this video and you want to create a presentation, I would only recommend that you select on entry. You don't want too many animations going off. And when we get to the next stage of animating different lines, if you have it on both, it's just going to be really confusing. So keep it here on entry. You can also change the speed and the writing style if you've got a Canva premium subscription. But because I'm on Canva free, we're just going to leave this as it is. So now the next logical step, right, would be to click on the second line, then go to the top right hand corner to the three dots, then go to animate. And then it would be to select this typewriter animation as well. But you'll find what happens then is both of these lines of text will appear at the same time. Now, if you're creating a presentation, that's probably not what you're looking for. So if we go ahead and presentate this, you can see both of these lines of text come in at the same time. Now we want these to come in like when they're told, we want these to come in when we click on the next slide, right? So what we need to do is we need to separate these lines of text to different slides. And this is pretty simple, right? So go ahead and click add page. Now what you want to do is you first need to copy your title. So go ahead and right click, copy, and then paste in your title. Now, because you've already got your title animated on the first slide, you can remove any animation from the second slide. So go ahead and click on it, click on the three dots, go to typewriter or go to animation, and then remove animation because you don't want this title animating again when we go to the second slide. So now you want to copy your first point. So go ahead and copy it and then paste it onto the second slide. Now what you can do, you can go ahead and then delete it from the first slide. And now on the second slide, you can click on it. You can go ahead and go to the three dots in the top right, go to typewriter and just make sure you've got this animated here on entry. So now just ignore these two. We'll sort these out later. Let's just test if our presentation is coming along. Just pretend these two aren't here because these are going to go on their own slide a bit later. So click present and then we'll present this. You can see the title comes in again. Just ignore this. Then when we click next, the first line comes in. Now, if you noticed here, the animation actually appears on the title when we don't want it to appear. Now, I'm just going to click on the title and go ahead and make sure that this is only on entry. So you can see here we've got it animated on both entry and exit. Just make sure it's only on entry. So now trying again, everything should be good. So top five things about Thailand, next slide, and then the first point comes in. Okay, so now what we can do, we can go ahead and create a third slide and then copy the third point. Now, not only do we need the third point copy and we also need the title and the first point copy in as well. So hold shift and select the information from the previous slides and paste them on the third slide. Now go ahead and grab your third point. So copy this and then paste that on as well. So now we can remove our third point from the title page. So now you've got our title, you've got our first point, and then you've got our second point. Now we want to remove any animations from the points which have already been animated. So on the title, we will go ahead and make sure there's no animation on the title, which there isn't. We'll also make sure there's no animation on the second point. 
So we'll go ahead and click on the three dots, typewriter, and just remove that animation. And we want to make sure that the third point gets animated when we go to that slide. So click on the three dots, go to animation. I hope this does make sense. Then go to typewriter and make sure this animates on entry. Now we need to copy in the fourth point. So go ahead and copy it and create a fourth slide. And then you can paste in that point here. We can then delete the third point from the title page because the first page is just going to be for the title. The second page is going to be for the first point. The third page is going to be for the second point. Or well, the fourth page here is going to be for the third point. Now we can go ahead and hold shift and select all of the information which happens to appear before. Copy this and then paste it onto the final slide. Now again, you want to make sure that once they're on the final slide, you remove any animations because you don't want them to be animated twice. The only thing you need to be animating is the point which should come on screen in the fourth slide, which is going to be the final point. So then click on the three dots, go animate, typewriter, and make sure it's animated on entry. So now you've done that, you've essentially got a slide for every line of text and every line of text is now animated. So now if we go ahead and go to present and then present, it should now work. So now you've got top five things about Thailand. Next slide, the beautiful beaches. Next one, the amazing food and the smiley people. Now you might have noticed we have some animation on exit, which we might need to change. So we're going to just make sure that the animations only appear on entry. So you can see, look, this animation appears on both. We want on entry. So we'll just double check here for all of these text layers. Again, you need to change it from both to just on entry. Okay, so now we should be all good. Let's just check this out and have a final look. Top five things about Thailand, the beautiful beaches, the amazing food, and the smiley people. So that's how you can do it. There isn't really a better way to do it than this. You can't add timings. You can only add animations, and obviously you can make new pages as well. So make each animation and give it its own page. That's how to do it. Sorry if that was confusing, but that's Canva for you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.